Alright y'all, welcome back to King Rai. Now, I've been keeping my business down on the low low, so y'all probably don't know a lot of what's going on in my team. And uh, today we're about to add an Iconic. And as you see, I'm in the draft. That's correct. We'll be adding a draft Iconic. Now first, we have to do the two for one trade in where we pretty much give Madden like a free badge and we say, it's a free thing, bro, because I done spent so much time into this, and I don't feel like waiting until all my uh, stamina and stuff comes back. So we're going to go ahead and do this one last time. Get that three to four. And now tell me if y'all beat me, because I didn't have my phone for six days. Because it, it just broke out of nowhere, so I had to get a new one. That's why the videos weren't really as frequent. But tell me if one of y'all beat me. Because as of today, this morning, I finally have one of the Iconics from the draft. Now, it's not one of the 2022 draft Iconics, but an Iconic nevertheless. Boom. All right, now we can go ahead and update the team and see what our team is looking like. Okay, so 277 on defense. Our defense is killing right now. Uh, let me see. How much would it cost to uh, do that trade again? Should be cheaper, right? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if I wanted to get him two-star, I basically just need to... Like, this is the hardest part, getting the uh, 300 overall one. But uh, once I got him, it would be pretty cheap to get him two-star. I'm not sure if I'm going to get him two-star this way because I do want to get the middle linebacker. There's only 13 days left, so I'm not sure if doing that will leave me with enough time to actually get what I want. But uh, at least we know we're halfway done with where we wanted to be in this uh, event. Now, again, there have been some new updates that y'all have not seen, so let's check that out before I end the video. First of all, on offense, you'll probably notice I have Jamar Chase now. Well, well, combined with him and a few other new additions, we are now over the 7,500 mark. So moving up pretty well. We're starting to slow down, though. I'm guessing that's because we can only get Iconics. But even at that, we're doing pretty good, in my opinion. But anyway, as you see, we got Jamar Chase on offense. Special teams is still the same. Except I did uh, upgrade Devin Hester. Look, he's not an Iconic, so I will go ahead and rank him up. But none of the Iconics that I didn't personally get from, like, an event, I will uh, not rank up. So, basically, Mike Allstott, I'll rank him up. But the rest of them on offense, I'm not going to. I'll level him up, but I won't rank him up. Defense, now we have quite a few players we can rank up. We can rank up Ken Houston, Joey Porter, Marcus May, and now Everson Griffin. Now, look at this defense. We also have Marcus Peters back there, so passes on us are relatively easy, but a lot harder than what they used to be. Now, imagine we get that middle linebacker here and take out Brian Bosworth. Imagine. This defense would be feared, bro. I'm sorry. It would just have to be feared because you're telling me that you're not going to be able to pass on us, really. Like, you might be able to go for some short routes and stuff. And anyway, but like, if you try to do Hail Marys and stuff, I'm hoping Marcus Peters. Or, I mean, Marcus May and uh, Ken Houston, also Marcus Peters, actually, will shut y'all down. And then, of course, we get the defensive end rushing you, and uh, this defense is one to be feared. Now, I there is one more thing I do want to do in this video, which is something I was told to do for the Easter event, which I actually did, but I did not get lucky. So, technically... I didn't want to show the embarrassment, but if we go to store here and then you go to draft and you go to draft picks, uh, yeah, for 500 Madden cash, you can have a chance of Trayvon Walker or 10 Iconic Coins. That's quite expensive for 10 Iconic Coins, but the chance of Trayvon Walker, I guess. I mean, I pulled it off my second try. The first try, I went for uh, Tyreek Hill. Second, uh, second try, I went for Marcus uh, May. Got him. Third try, I went for Megatron, did not get him, and uh, 
if the trend is correct, we should get Trayvon Walker. I, I, I doubt it, but I'd be pretty happy. It's a 2% chance, so that's very low chances, but you know what? We're going to do it for the video, even though I know I'm wasting Madden Cash. Also, my input on this, like, don't get me wrong. These are some good players back here, but they're so darn expensive. Even the regular Iconics are 5,000 Madden Cash. For those of y'all who don't really play the game, and y'all are just, like, watching me because you like watching my channel, thanks. But let me put this into money terms. 5000 for just a regular Iconic, which isn't anything special. Of course, so you're not getting anything special for the price of, let me go to the regular store, Madden Cash. Maybe just going to scroll over some. Yeah, 5000 Of course, you get a 750 bonus. That's $50. $50 for one Iconic. That's not going to do much. Now, let's say you want an Iconic Elite, which is what I would go for if I were to spend that type of money in the first place. It would be 9000 or 8000 depending on which one you want. Of course, 1000 Madden Cash does make a difference, but not, not, not really. But anyway, uh, if I had to pick one I was going for, it would be Aiden Hutchinson. And if not him, it would be Sars Gardner. So either way, 9000 or 8000 Let's go back to Madden Cash. Let's pass over that 50 That's $75. $75 for one of those guys. Now, when you talk about pay to win, $75 worth better be pay to win. And if we look at it, like even Aiden Hutchinson's stats are comparable to some of my other Iconics. Like, not really. Of course, he's going to be 10 times better, but still. And it does give you wild card badges and a 300 overall player. But just, I, I'm going to stop with this. I, I just want to know what y'all think. Because this was pretty bold. Megatron was expensive enough if you didn't, like, do the free-to-play for the uh, Crystal Bunnies. Now, this, this is on a whole nother level. $75 for one Iconic Elite. Man, I'm going to be happy the day I get my hands on my first Iconic Elite. But it ain't going to be this way. Now, again, if, if they're putting it in the game, if they're bold enough to put it in the game... Then that means there's somebody out there paying $75 per Iconic Elite. Man, they probably love football so much. They probably got every single last one of the new draft picks. I promise you, someone out there probably did it. <laughs> well, we're going to try our luck on the uh, cheaper one. But in order to do that, we have to go with the uh, Arena Drive. And now... Our team's looking pretty stacked. We might be able to do this since our offense is now a 265. Huh, I don't know. Also, by the way, I'm like number 27 I just saw on the leaderboard. More like 26-ish. I don't know, but... Uh, th this morning, it, it goes up and down, but... These are people who probably already played, so by the time we're done... Like, yesterday I finished off at number 4. Which is good, because all the other people were like above 1,000. I mean, not a thousand, uh, three hundred something. I was at two hundred something, but we're gonna try to quickly get into the um end zone so this can be a little. Ooh. Boom. There we go, Gates, bro. This receiver core is crazy. Like, if Tyree Kill wasn't bad enough, we added Antonio Gates. If that wasn't bad enough, he got freaking Jamar. Okay, I, I, they're starting to run away from the ball. That's what I hate to see. Oh, yeah, take that first. Take that first. Boom. All right, like I said, I'm trying to get this over with quickly, but I'm also not trying to throw interceptions because I do actually care about my placement in this. A lot of things I'll say freak it for the video, but this is not one of them. Okay, Tyree gets jammed. Still throwing it to him wide open. Touchdown. Hey, I don't know. Do y'all miss the live streams where we used to do arenas and stuff? Because it used to be like a, a different vibe, bro. It was, it was nice. Being able to sit there, go through the pain, go through the uh, fun, the, the highs, the lows together. But uh, if y'all like it, I'll, I'll bring it back. <clears throat> I'll bring it back. But the reason why I stopped was because I didn't have my regular recording thing. 
and then getting back on so randomly was kind of weird to me so I was going to ask y'all's opinion I know we only have to do one drive to get this over with but why not get him done boom I hate that they come forward a bit to catch that ball it's like the game knows how overpowered a play will be he's gone oh he stepped out see our offense is deadly now Okay. Our offense is friendly. So now it should be the opposite. Because that was a terrible play. Oh, and not to mention Mike Allstott, who can also catch and run and break tackles. I haven't even ran the ball once, but you see how good he is. Uh, Actually, let me run with him. Through this big behind line. Okay, they rushed me with like three, four people. Okay, maybe a dumb decision, I don't know. Let's go to our last drive. That's a pretty good return. As you see, Devin Hester's pretty fast now. Well, not pretty fast. I mean, he's faster than what he used to be is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I want to go deep. I want to show y'all Jamar Chase, bro. All right, let's see. Tyree kills on the left. He's on the right. Okay, Tyree. They both regard it, surprisingly. But you know what? That's what I'm saying. When we get an iconic elite, because I don't like taking iconics that I didn't personally get from an event. I've already said that. So Antonio Gates kind of feels like cheating, but we need him on the team. But I can't wait till we get, like, an iconic type tight end that I actually got because it's probably going to oh, stay up dang see with controller you can't really fix that okay dots oh he saw that he saw that he was waiting on it too that's scary but we got pits boom ain't they stopped you pits hold up well we'll go with the fullback dive it didn't work for the uh, two-point, but it'll work now. Let's see. Hopefully, we can get the two-point here. I'm going to go with the play action. It's just they rush me quick when I do this, but then they leave the receiver open. Just depends how quickly they come. But uh, that'll be it. Let's go ahead and get the... Uh... Well, here we are. I moved up to 19 on the leaderboard. I'm going to buy this. What are the chances? What are the chances? Yep, uh, I knew it. I, I mean, everybody knew it. There was no way I was getting that. Every time I try to do something like that on video, it never happens, but it always happens off camera. Don't know what it is. And for those of y'all who are going to say, well, why didn't it work with uh, Megatron? It, it's, it's because, you see, I was recording to make that into a video hoping that I was going to get him, but then I didn't, so I just scrapped the video unless y'all wanted to see a video of me like... <laughs> Anyway, one more thing I want to check out is this Iconic Elite Select. Now, I really don't want to get an Iconic Elite Select until I actually get an Iconic Elite. Because an Iconic Elite will be 10 times better than my regular Iconic. So the ones I get from the event, like whoever I get from this Iconic Elite Select is going to be better than them. So I'm not going to be able to play who I actually want to play. I want to wait till I get one, but the thing is, how do you get one without paying money for it? And it might not be possible now, but I'm hoping by the time this game is done with, it will be. Now, last thing, last thing, I promise, because that wasn't what I really wanted to do. It was just something I had a question on. Oh, my question was, what's inside of those packs, really? Because I don't know what they are. Now, here's what I wanted to check out. Uh, Go to my field pass. I'm up to almost 80k. 80k. We get some Madden cash from that. But, uh, bro, I, I missed quite a few days. Quite a few days because of my phone and whatever. And I also have not always, towards the end, 
Like, I've let it get to 200, and I haven't spent all of the uh, stamina. So, I really do think it's possible to get that last guy if you just play the game. Like, even if you miss a few times of it getting to 200, you miss, like, a couple of days. Because I'm pretty close. I'm only 20k off. And the way I've been grinding, because if you do all the daily tasks, I think it's, like, 1,750 a day. I think I'm butchering that number. I just kind of looked at it and added quickly just an estimate, a rough ex estimate. But my point is that that every day combined with how many ever times you're going to do this, which also gives you 120 per one iconic and then 300 for this one. So, yeah, it is possible. 